It was June 11, 1963, the venerable Thich Quang Duc, in the first and most famous recorded act of self-immolation, was protesting the persecution of Buddhists by the South Vietnamese government and President Ngo Dinh Diem. The photo was taken by AP journalist Malcolm Brown, and in pre-digital days, it took the image an incredible 15 hours, over 9,000 miles of AP wire photo cable, for it to become breaking news in America. New York Times reporter David Halberstam had witnessed the act and noted the monk never moved a muscle or uttered a sound. The monk's remains were ordered cremated for burial, but something unexplainable happened. Witnesses said his heart would not burn. Even after a second cremation, 10 hours in all, historians say his heart did not disintegrate, along with some of his bones, which had crystallized. Today, this tiny pearl-like relic, believed to be that of the famous burning monk, is being kept at this small temple in Rosemead for the first time. People are still very emotional about him. Uh, not only Vietnamese people, but also a lot of GIs and people who were involved in Vietnam for one, one way or the other, they get very emotional too. Ironically, the abbot at Lu Mountain Temple is the great nephew of former South Vietnamese President Ngo Dinh Diem. And while some, including Buddhist monks, saw the self-immolation as a political act, the Venerable Thich Vinh Hoa does not. Sometimes uh, it can, it's misconstrued as a political act. It's not at all. He sees it as the ultimate self-sacrifice for the good of others, an act that united all Buddhists in Vietnam and led to the collapse of the Yim regime. The relic was attained and donated to the temple by the Venerable Thich Hien Thi, a retired army captain and former Vietnam prison camp survivor who became an ordained Buddhist monk at the age of 68. While the whereabouts of the burning monk's heart is debated, most believe it's locked up in the Vietnamese government's vaults. Others believe it's being kept at one of the many temples the prolific monk built. His crystallized remains are being kept here, along with thousands of other relics like this finger bone and tooth of the Buddha, both of which, according to those at the temple, have inexplicably grown since they were acquired. Another phenomenon, I'm told the relics are multiplying. Little crystals that appear in or on the relic grow, change color, and then fall off. You know, in the Believers, and not all of them Buddhists, are expected to travel from all over the country to Rosemead this weekend, hoping to lay their eyes on these relics of history. We open during this uh, Lunar, New, Lunar New Year's uh, week so that more people can come and uh, receive blessings from the relics. It's believed those who view the relics will receive blessings from inner peace to good fortune.